Hey guys, it's Prime Score from Shockbyte, and today I'm going to show you how you can edit edit your server files on your computer. So after you've downloaded your server files to your computer using your FTP of choice, if you don't know how to use an FTP, um, we have a tutorial on our channel. But I'm assuming you're here because you've downloaded these files and you don't know how to edit them on your computer. So the tool we recommend to get this job done is called Notepad++. Just Google Notepad++ or uh, in the description, we have a link to the website and uh, download uh, Notepad++ uh, suited to your computer. Um, so after you've downloaded it, uh, download the files that you want to edit onto your computer um, and then uh, have those files ready and then we can start from there. So um, all you have to do is right click on the file you want to edit. So I'm going to edit my server properties file, right click, click edit with Notepad++ and then I can uh, edit it here. And so let's say I want to turn off my whitelist. So right now I can see enforce whitelist is set to true. If I set that to false, I can go up top left file and click save or hit control S, assuming you know how to save files. But um, after that, we can just exit it, exit out of that file, upload it to our uh, server um, using our FTP of choice, and then restart the server. And then it's going to read the file and everything has changed. Now the biggest file size or the one you're going to uh, the, the most abundant file type, I should say, that you're going to encounter is YAML files. So this spigot file right here, uh, you can see it's a YM, YAML file by saying, uh, by hovering over it and it says YML file. Uh, that's the shorthand of it. And um, you can edit them with Notepad++ as well. So right click on the file and click edit with Notepad++. And it kind of looks similar to what we saw in servers.property file, but it's more um, it's it's more laid out. Uh, there's a certain way it needs to be uh, typed up. So for example, um, you must use four spaces when indenting. Don't use your tab button. I mean, uh, uh, it's not, it has to be exactly four spaces when you indent. Um, using your tab button can ruin this, um, and it's not the same as exactly four spaces. So if you want to indent, just add four spaces. And so here there's going to be eight spaces because it's indented twice. Um, and after that, after you've made your changes, um, let's say I want to make my user cache size uh, some, something completely different for whatever reason. This is just an example. I don't recommend touching this at all. Um, let's say I, I accidentally type in banana and make it banana and unformat it correctly. So, and I don't realize that and I upload it and my server crashes. Well, I wanna make sure that my file is parsed correctly, meaning it's formatted correctly, uh, formatted correctly. And so what I can do is just highlight everything, shortcut is control A, and then copy everything, control C or file copy. And then we can go to a website called online YAML parser, YAML parser. So this is gonna parse the file um, and see if it's formatted correctly. So you just right click paste or control V to paste it. And as we can see this output, and it says we have an error, it's not uh, configured or formatted correctly. And we can see while scanning a simple key um, in Unicode, it's just fancy words. It can, uh, it'll just show you right here with the arrow what's wrong. It'll say this part of your line is wrong. Um, and it said it did not find a colon. Um, and so we can go back here, look for that part, and oh, there's no colon here. And as you can see, you need a colon after everything. So we'll just add that colon, save it. We're going to copy it again and re, uh, control A and repaste it in here. And as you can see, the output looks perfect. There is no errors. And so that's how we know our uh, file is formatted correctly because of this uh, parser. And so we can save the file and upload it to our server and then we can restart our server and everything should work perfectly. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, don't hesitate to send us a ticket at our website at shockbyte.com. Anyways, thank you for watching.